Malaysia Airlines has been in the news recently again because Peter Bellew has stepped down as CEO. He's the second foreign CEO to step down in a short span of three years. So Peter Bellew and the former CEO were both the turnaround guys that were supposed to put MES back on track to become a successful company after losing billions of ringgit over the last many years. Now the question that I feel a lot of Malaysians are missing is actually this and especially the MES staff. Now, whatever management decision that has gone wrong over the years, which was out of your hands, you know, I don't think you are to blame if you're just um, a regular MAS staff doing your job. But if you're dealing with the frontline people and you are responsible for providing good service, I think a lot of you are missing the point and not doing a good job. and all of us for so many years have been supporting MES by taking flights to support the national airline which was once great you know we all remember the heydays when MES had premium service, great food uh, wherever you go people would talk about MES saying that you know it's such a great experience going on an MES flight so much so that even the stewardesses that would line up for interviews usually took a lot of pride in joining the airline to provide that service and go around the world. But you know, a lot of us Malaysians have been supporting Malaysian Airlines and we've been taking flights to try to help the airline come back into the black. But you know, it, the fault actually lies in a lot of the frontliners in the Malaysian Airlines. You know, our flight economy in Malaysian Airlines, our flight business class, and I find the service to be substandard compared to other competitive airlines out there. I mean, I've had instances of the screen not working, or staff that were rude, staff that do not smile and greet you. And yes, these are things you are trained to do, and you should do with as many passengers that come on board your plane. That is supposed to be an extension of your home and welcoming the guests on board should be one of the key priorities in making them feel comfortable and enjoy that experience of getting on one of the MS flights. Everyone that dons a Malaysian Airlines badge in their clothing is a representative of the company. Whenever a person walks up to you at the airport and asks you a question and you make it look like you don't have much time or you're busy doing something else, they don't feel important. And when they don't feel important, they immediately think that the whole company does not treat them as an important person. Just because they're not a VIP or a somebody, you know, that, that is the, the Malaysian way of taking care of customers. You should be proud in what you do and you should love your job. Then you qualify to be a frontline staff. People are going to come to you and complain. That's why you're there. You should be trained to handle the complaint and you should not get upset. Now, guys, I'm on your side. But when people come on the flight and they don't get that, that, that great experience that they were expecting, then it's your fault. You know, it's your job to be doing it. Even Gandhi back then said the customer is not an interruption of your work. He's the purpose for it. The whole business revolves around the customer. If you don't make the customer feel appreciated, they're not going to come back. The other choices, the other options are more cost effective for them and they're going to have a more enjoyable experience. You can make a difference in your job if the people that you deal with today have a great experience. Now, I've tried to make a difference by writing in messages of complaints whenever there's a bad experience. But you know, even your complaint system doesn't track the complaints in a way that the customer can follow up. And from what I understand, even the people receiving the complaints don't know where your previous complaint went to. So they make it look like it's the first time that you're complaining. And so there's no model that's going to help you improve. You know, if there's no method of tracking what you're doing wrong, how do you know what you need to fix? Now, these are things that are done in all other companies that are much smaller in size. So it's quite confusing why such a large company doesn't have this in place already. 
You may have it, but you're not definitely not practicing it because people don't feel it. Now, if the Malaysian Airlines staff could take charge, feel proud of what they do, and make a difference every day of their job, just like everyone else who's fighting hard to earn for a living, I'm sure Malaysian Airlines will come back on track because I will definitely support you and I'm sure a lot of other Malaysians would support you as well. Make a change, make us proud.